Hello there, I'm Simona, and I want to welcome you to this edition of Extraordinary Living, where it's my mission to help you transition from where you are to where God wants you to be. Now, a while back, I came across the most bizarre and troubling story. It was about an Oregon farmer who had gone missing. It turned out that something had went terribly wrong when he went out to feed his, get this, 700 pound pigs. And as it turns out, the pigs ate him. I mean, literally ate him up. And as the story was reported, the man's remains were scattered all over the pig pen. Now this story was disturbing to me for obvious reasons. Yet the most disturbing part of all was the fact that this man lost his life simply because he was trying to feed the pigs. But there's a lesson in this, one that I hope that you will take into careful consideration. And the lesson is never feed the pigs. Now the pigs I'm referring to aren't literal pigs, they are figurative pigs. Pigs that represent the devil and his demonic agents. You see, when we dabble in sin and fall prey to his temptations, we are in essence feeding the pig by feeding into the devil's ego. But keep in mind that no matter how true you are to him or how committed you are to his cause, he will not return the favor because he's not your friend and never will be. You see, the devil is an unfair opponent and he plays for keeps. As a matter of fact, the only thing that will satisfy him is the opportunity to devour you, just like that poor farmer was devoured by those thankless and mindless pigs. You see, when you step outside of God's will in any way, shape, or form, you're stepping into the pig pen, and the devil is waiting to devour you. For example, you may think it's simply a one-time opportunity to get your physical needs met, but in actuality, it's the devil's opportunity to try to devour you, with not only the disapproval of God, but also with the STD, the emotional trauma, the demise of a marriage, present or future, and any other negative consequence that could possibly result from stepping outside of God's will and stepping into the pig pen. Y'all, the pleasures of sin simply aren't worth it. They may taste good now, but I promise you eventually they will leave a sour taste in your mouth. Now, I have no idea what your vice is or what the devil is using to try to keep you captive, but I know it's something because that's how that fool works. So no matter what you do, don't feed into his ego by falling prey to his traps. If you're hanging around individuals who are pulling you farther and farther away from Christ, cut them off. If you're dipping and dabbling in sin thinking that next time you'll get it right, stop it. Just stop it now. You can't take any chances and let it never be said that you were devoured while feeding a pig. Now, here's the question of the day. Has there ever been a time in your life when you found yourself feeding the pig? If so, what'd you do? How'd you overcome? What steps do you take to break the cycle? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Also, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And you can subscribe by clicking the little icon right here. And also be sure to click the notification bell so that you won't miss another episode. And finally, before I go, I gotta let you know that you can do all things through Christ, which includes living an extraordinary life. See you next time. Circumstances are not powerful enough to determine your outcomes but your mind is, which is why I put together the five steps to change your mind so that you can change your life. It's a free downloadable PDF that contains the five keys to a healthy mindset. So go to SimonaWatts.com forward slash change and get your free download today. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my book.